told that if there's any problems with me collecting from her, that I would have to collect from him, and then his insurance would go after, because I was in his car, which makes him responsible for me. He's not responsible. The only one who's responsible, whoever was at fault. So even if she didn't have insurance, I couldn't? If she didn't have insurance, okay, then uninsured motorists would apply. But mm -hmm. that doesn't mean you're collecting from him. That means uninsured motorist is when he buys insurance mm -hmm. for someone who may hit him and not have insurance. So he's buying the insurance for the other person. So what happens if you're in a car with somebody who has just liability and somebody else hits them? You're just not going to get anything? You're out of luck. Liability oh, means you're at fault. Right. Okay. I know, but I thought, fault. like, um, kind of like I'm responsible for all the parties in my car. Wrong. And then, you know, my insurance would have to go after. That's what, that's what I was always told. So you mean I could be in his car and he just has liability. Somebody else hits, they're not insured, and I'm injured. I'm just not. Unless gonna... you have your own uninsured motorist coverage. Does that cover? So I, I have that on my car, but does yeah. that, that covers me and everything? If nothing else works, then it'd cover you, but this guy has enough oh. coverage to take care of stuff. Okay. Okay. How big is your uninsured motorist policy? I don't know, because I actually just got a new one. It's okay, progressive. But, but at least you but have. I have full it. coverage, okay. yeah. But right now, he's got, they got good coverage. Okay. And we'll get it eventually, but it's not, they always fight tooth and nail. Yeah. And your case is only a year old. They stretch the cases up to two years before they get, these things get sent. I mean, I'm not, it's, I, I suffer horrible, I have post-traumatic stress disorder, and I have major trust issues, and I will take something that looks bad and it'll snowball. So okay. all I ask is what just clear do, communication. Like, this is what we're doing. Okay, I'll give you a clear this is communication. Where we're going. Okay, what you have okay what we're doing now we're getting a doctor to confirm other injuries okay you're going to submit it to them and keep negotiating okay. and uh it's not quick it never goes quick and if you keep thinking about it you'll go crazy well okay? it, it was just that i it's kind of like you guys throw them something, I know they're going to like argue, like, well, this ain't right or that ain't right. And yeah, then... but see, we don't care because if they had the opportunity to protect their insured and they didn't, then we can get more than the policy limits. They have a duty to protect their insured. Right, but I mean, like, it's always based off evidence, and it's like there's just things. Like what evidence? Like, I don't know, like you guys submitted a claim for an amount. Like, I wasn't asked for my receipt, so how could it be calculated in? You know, like, what number are you giving? What how receipts you, do you have? Um, for the medication that I was paying for? Uh, bring, it, bring the receipts in. Okay, and then... But that's just well, a small amount. Right, it's not... Yeah. I mean, well, it's a lot for me because Okay, no, but I mean, small amount as far right, as Right, it's in the hundreds. And yeah, the it's claim not a lot. That, that we're looking at, it should clear out their policy. So that you're saying that it's insignificant in the larger scheme of the bigger picture. It's not that significant. See, I can and understand if we were close, that. it would be significant, but we're okay. not close yet. But get it over to us. Okay. At least we'll have I just, I just need to know where it's going. You know, like, I just like okay. to know what's going on. What That's you it. do so is I'm you're going to be here in a month, right? Uh-huh. Okay. And in our office, different people handle the case through different portions of the claim. Okay. Mm -hmm. First, someone verifies sense. insurance liability, then they take care of the property damage, then they follow through on your treatment, then they get all that to the insurance company, goes to the negotiator, and then it, if that can't happen, then it goes the to litigation. the litigation department. Okay. But I'm always available. So what you do is, you can always make an appointment with me. I okay. will always take an appointment from you. I will never take a telephone call from you, because my philosophy is, if it's important enough to discuss, then you can take 10 minutes to come in, and I'll always see you. Okay, that's fair. Okay, so, and different people will be on it, but I want to see you in a month, because I want to see what's happening okay. on this, follow through, and hit them with a hammer. Okay, that's all I needed to hear. I, I feel better, I just, because it was like, okay. we came in, signed papers, and then I was being asked to sign the same papers well, after I called. 
and complain. So it's kind of like, well, why didn't you call me first and ask for that? Like, well, you get, you get there my are line of thinking. Things. Well, see, the adjuster first, we gave him our form, and he didn't want our form. He wanted his form, so then we brought you back for his form. Okay, here's what you have. Huh, huh, huh. Okay, left hand or right hand? Uh, more on my right, but it goes to both. But it's more dominant than okay. my right. So your right hand, okay, if you get numbness in these two fingers, it's C8, and the thumb is C6, and you've got the herniation C6, mm -hmm. okay? Your herniation is right here, C6. What's the other place? You got C5, C6, and C6, C7. C6, C7. C7. Okay, so C5, C6 is, you got this, the thumb right here. Okay, that tips you off that it's C6, and C5 is on across here. Uh, okay, okay and then you got, the... you got the SI joint. Okay, so it goes down your, your butt. Yeah, it's like all in. L1, L3. That, that triangle down part. Okay, so it goes down the back of your leg? No, it just goes into like to the end of my butt bone. Okay. It's like the whole butt bone hurts. Okay, so it's L1, L3. Okay, and the herniation is right in this area. Because I know I was crooked, but I went in to see, like, I literally had a curvature um, right there. And then I've been doing core exercises religiously, like what my physical therapist taught me when I was seeing a physical therapist years ago. Um, and I was able to get my back pretty straight. Literally, I mean, I literally worked out for an hour on my core every single morning. I got to start doing that. <laughs> Okay, anyway, yeah. I'll see you in a month. He's going okay. to set up the appointment with Dr. Yeah, Nick Shaw. Because I got a feeling that your shoulder, you've got a torn rotator cuff in your shoulder. Okay, and DeReza has to check out the... Uh, a TBI, rec make, a, S -T make the recommendation. Uh, did you send the TBI letter? Uh, the TBI check. letter, okay. Uh, have him make a TBI recommendation. Sure. Now, you don't have to do anything. Okay. But we have to confirm what it is so we can submit it to the insurance company. Okay. So it's not like, oh, I don't want to do any more treatment or anything. Well, that's Charles. <laughs> Where are you? I'm waiting for you. I'll be up there. Coming up. I'm coming up. He's in my office waiting for me. Okay. See what happens when you wait? Sometimes you have to wait. Okay, because you get hung up unexpectedly, or even if it's expectantly, you get hung up. But hopefully you got some answers. Okay. okay, so I'll see you in a month. You set up okay. an appointment. He'll send you to Dr. DeReza, and we want him to explore the SI joint problems you have. And we want him rec uh, to do something for the ringing ears and things like that, the TBI, and they probably recommend a neuropsych evaluation but that doesn't mean you have to do it. That's yeah, just the recommendation. Him, real, like, I, because I know my condition and I know like how I, de I deteriorate over time. Like I don't take any narcotic. I don't do any, like I've already had a few surgeries and my body doesn't do well with surgeries because I don't heal properly. So it's like I have to, I try to do everything holistically and I'm trying to hold off as long as I can because I know when I hit my 40s and 50s, I'm gonna probably be in a lot of pain if I'm not, like I have to stay conditioned. If you hit your 40s and 50s, you'll still be a kid. Right? Oh, yeah. It's just crazy because like, I'm in a support group, and women my age, they like have all these splints. They're in wheelchairs. You know, I, I, That's just not the life for me. I don't want to live like that. What's the day date? Okay, I got it here. Okay, when you get through, come on up. Sure. Okay, meanwhile, I'll set the appointments and give them an appointment a month away. Okay. And then if someone doesn't get back to you or they don't do something like that, Make an appointment with me. Okay. okay? Got it. Okay, Thank good soon. Sorry for right. being so That's okay. <laughs> we'll get you unaggressive. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to go get my phone so we can send it to you. All right. Okay. Good time. Hi. Is that him? Mm -hmm. Then you got to get to the.
We gotta get to pay the rent. So you leave at 5 30. Did I bring my phone in? I didn't. I should have brought my phone. Oh, give me my phone. You have it. I need, I need to talk to Mary real quick. And tell her I'm on my way. To pay the rent. Or I'll be late. He was alright. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice that first. It was not cool that it kept cutting you off. That was annoying. Well, you gotta think they're used to people probably not being intelligent. Can I ask her? Oh, no, and I forgot my thing's blocked. What do you mean, blocked? Oh, she wants to. 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 Oh, she wants to.